Hello everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor Software Program. In this video I'd like to look at a very nice trade that unfolded yesterday which was March, Wednesday March um, the 21st, uh, particularly on the Russell Index. This is the short trade I'd like to look at here. I'm looking at this in the new beta version of the MT Predictor uh, version 7 which is uh, say in beta testing at the moment. So let's just go through a few things here and as usual let's first <clears throat> look at the 15 minute chart. Okay. Now on the Russell index if I put session breaks on you can see that this was yesterday which was the 21st. So here we had the market went down a bit then it went up but the most important point is it went up at this time here which was about 12 o'clock, uh, 15 minutes past 12 um, to here, about half past 12, it actually gave a TS4 sell. So if I put the analysis on, that's fine, standard trade setup, but the point being is that the trend on the 15 minute chart from this point here, just about 12 o'clock onwards, was actually down. Okay, so we had a 15 minute TS4 sell, therefore the 15 minute trend was down. Right, I'll just slide that across, <clears throat> and now let's have a look at the 3 minute chart. Again, I'll put the session breaks on so we can see where we are. So this whole part we can see was the whole of the day from the 21st. Now the standard trade setups, we had a standard sell here on a black STF, which was fine. But the one I want to look at in particular was this TS3 sell. Now yes, it's against a blue STF. So standard traders would not be taking this one. However, for advanced traders, what we teach is because the 15 minute chart had given us a clear TS4 sell. Remember we looked at that over here and the trend was down therefore we could look to take sell setups. So if I put the analysis on here hit right mouse click analyze setup we get a nice 2.3 hour profit into the first uh, uh, the first target. However because the 15 minute trend was clearly down and it was clearly down, if I put the analysis on again on this one, it was clearly down right down into this uh, level here which is uh, um, into the low 820s which on this chart was actually right the way down here was there any point at all in looking to take profit early? Well the advanced uh, users among you will know that obviously this is not this is actually what we consider a holy grail trade setup now the reason we consider a holy grail trade setup is because at 12 o'clock here on our 15 minute chart we had a larger degree resistance area in other words a TS4 cell so this high here is our 12 o'clock high so this would be considered a major or important high we then had a swing down this would be considered wave 1 we then had a swing back up again this would be considered wave 2 so now what we look at is because this has uh, been considered wave 2 we now consider that the uh, decline off this is not just a minor swing like this it's actually a wave 3 so therefore what we do is rather than looking at the minimum wave C WPT we actually look at the typical wave 3 WPT so if I just grab that and drag it down to here this is actually the target we'll be looking for so if I actually just take the chart back and put the analysis on again rather than looking to come out at this first target we'd actually be aiming to come out at this target round here and as we've already seen that basically caught the last uh, decline down into what was pretty much uh, the low there just before the uh, the close but the point being is that we knew that we should be looking to take this sell set up because of the position of the large degree chart. So again I'll just run over that very quickly. We have a resistance area on the large degree chart which in this case was a TS4 cell. So when we come back to the three minute chart we knew that this here was an important high. We then had this initial correction or this sorry initial move off the important high. We're then looking for an ABC correction which is what we had here into our TS3 cell. This correction makes up the sort of initial correction off the initial move off the important high. 
This then <coughs> would be considered a wave 2, therefore we're anticipating a wave 3 decline. That is why we don't come out at our first target here. <coughs> we look to come out at the typical wave 3 WPT, and as you can see this is labelled an MT predictor for you. And as you can see the result was a very nice trade here of plus 4.7R. Remember we use correct position sizing and that's uh, placed on the chart for you automatically so when I do the analysis the position sizing is worked out for you and that means that the initial risk was kept small and under control. We were allowed to do uh, four contracts for a 2% risk of this case a sample $20,000 account and the result was a profit but more importantly a profit of 4.7 times the initial risk. And that's the important thing with, uh, with trading is that all trades should be kept where the losses which do unfold are kept small and the profits are large. So this was a very good example of a holy grail trade setup, particularly because it fitted in very nicely with the 15 minute chart on that position and therefore allowed you to anticipate a wave 3 type swing which as you can see resulted in a very nice trade catching the swing into the, the close yesterday.